Uh, dear organizing committee, dear colleagues, thank you for the invitation, uh, me and uh, my team, to introduce our uh, research work, the correction of the drug dosage according to the changes in the weight of the young children during long-term treatment uh, that can reduce the toxicity and the side effects of treatment. Um, I'm pleased uh, to introduce the whole team, Dr. Natalia Gravenka, Professor of Shubik National Medical Academy uh, for Postgraduate Education, who Leaded this project, uh, Dr. Lilia Todoriko uh, from Bukovinian State Medical University, Chernivtsi, Ukraine, who helped uh, to collect the material, and me, Dr. Tatiana Sprincian from uh, Communicable Diseases Intensive Care Association in Cure, uh, uh, who will be the presenter, author of uh, this research work. Uh, as uh, all we know, that in young children the accuracy of dosing is uh, extremely important uh, due to uh, the uh, requirement uh, to keep uh, the balance be uh, between the optimal efficacy and uh, the risk of uh, toxicity. And due to this, uh, medicine are being prescribed uh, uh, per uh, kilo of body weight. But uh, some conditions, uh, such as uh, uh, oncology disease, uh, tuberculosis treatment, or uh, the treatment of latent TB, latent TB um, some chronic diseases, require long-term uh, therapy. And uh, during this uh, treatment course, young children can increase in the body weight extremely, especially the young babies under 12 months or uh, children under 2 or 3 years old. But the question is, if we do the dose correction during the uh, treatment course of such kids, or we just uh, see the uh, patient prescribe the approximate dosage and uh, then uh, leave the parents or caregivers uh, to uh, treat uh, the child by themselves. Uh, you know, uh, that uh, tuberculosis uh, uh, active and latent disease required last six months of therapy. Oncology can last for years. Uh, how often doctor adjusts the scheme of the therapy uh, to the increasing of the body weight of small patient every month, every week, every year? So aim was to uh, uh, see if uh, the uh, adjustment of the prescribed uh, dosage uh, in very small kids under two years old uh, during the treatment course on the example of uh, the treatment of uh, latent TB infection during six months uh, can be beneficial in such uh, uh, patients uh, to uh, decrease uh, side effects, uh, to uh, increase uh, tolerability and uh, uh, to increase uh, um, adherence to, uh, to treatment. Uh, we uh, performed the comparative study uh, in uh, two groups of children with latent TB infection uh, that uh, required azonazid treatment during six months. In the first group, we included uh, 114 children uh, who received uh, their uh, azonazid in the liquid pediatric formulation in the syrup form uh, with the recommended uh, by WHO dosage uh, 10 mg per kilo per kilo once a day after breakfast. And the uh, children from the control group received the same drug in the form of tablets. And uh, due to the um, limited possibility to divide the tablets uh, uh, very accurately, we used the recommended uh, by WHO table how to divide uh, uh, the, the tablet according to the range of the weight, not to the accurate uh, body weight. As you can see, uh, with the liquid uh, formulation, it was very easy to give the exact amount of the required milligrams to any child of the, uh, any body weight. And uh, when we used uh, tablets, uh, very, very approximately um, 
the uh, dividing could be used. For example, uh, children under five received uh, half of their standard tablet. Children of, uh, with the body uh, weight range from uh, 5.1 uh, to 9.9 received one tablet, but uh, it's um, obvious that uh, they need in the uh, amount of the drug was different. So, uh, we have found that uh, 65 children from the main group, 57%, uh, uh, and 61 from the control had increased in the body weight during the course of treatment during six months in more than one kilo, which uh, uh, required the uh, dose correction. But uh, uh, the main uh, increasing of uh, the body weight during these uh, six months was about three kilos uh, in both groups, uh, which showed that the dose correction uh, should have been performed according to the uh, standards of uh, the treatment uh, by WHO uh, quite significantly. But, uh, Actually, the uh, only one formulation in liquid form, in serum form, allowed the dose adjustment uh, very accurately according to the body weight. That's why the patient uh, from the both group uh, were seeing the doctor every month and um, uh, measured uh, the body weight, but only the patients from the first group uh, could receive the dose adjustments due, the, due to the increasing of the body weights. Also, all the parents or caregivers from the both groups were asked to fill the questionnaire to specify uh, on the scale from 1 to 5 the ease of treatment and uh, willingness to continue the entire course 6 months. Um, it's well known that adherence in uh, treatment of latent TB infection is uh, very low. Only 40% uh, of uh, uh, the caregivers uh, fulfill the whole six months course, which is very, very uh, low level. So, from our point of view, it was very important if uh, uh, the uh, drug formulation could influence on adherence uh, and uh, be beneficial for the uh, parents. Uh, on this slide, you can see that uh, we have received uh, a significantly higher um, uh, results in uh, the group uh, of the main st uh, study where uh, little patients had those adjustments. They had um, much better uh, levels of uh, bilirubin, of uh, LT, of ST, also a TIMOL test, uh, uh, which uh, showed that uh, they had less uh, uh, toxic uh, effects uh, comparing to the isoniazid in tablet form without dose correction. The changes in the blood chemistry uh, were much more uh, prominent in the children who received isoniazid in tablets and uh, were increasing uh, uh, up to the completion of the course. Uh, also, the tolerability of the treatment was defined as good in almost all the patients in the main group and only in 83% uh, of the control. And um, significantly uh, much um, more uh, satisfactory level was shown in the main group comparing to the control. Uh, those findings allow to uh, tell that the dose adjustments to young children with rapid weight gain during the continuous course of the chemotherapy allows decreasing side effects and toxicity, increasing the tolerability of the medicines, uh, also increase the uh, um, adherence, which is essential in uh, potential toxic agents. Uh, liquid drug formulations like syrup or suspensions allow more accurate dose adjustment and uh, should be considered as preferable child-friendly dosage forms for babies and infants over tablets and over dispersible tablets. Uh, and um, we invite uh, our colleagues uh, to continue uh, further research works in this area. Thank you very much for your attention.